When we select a doctor to give us medical advice, a lawyer to attend our legal matters, or a mechanic to work on our vehicles, do we first look at their outward appearance? Do we scrutinize their choice of office decor or their sporting interest? Of course not. Instead, what is most important to us when choosing qualified professionals most often pertains to their education, past experience in trade, and what previous customers have to say about them. They each have criteria or qualifications is what I'm trying to say. Likewise, the Apostle Paul, while instructing the younger pastor Timothy in 1 Timothy chapter 3 verses 1 through 13, lays out the criteria and the qualifications for those desiring to be leaders in the church, both pastors and deacons. Now, Toward the end of this chapter, Paul establishes the importance of these qualifications by defining what the church is. He tells us in verse 15 that it is the house of God, which is the church of the living God and the pillar and ground of the truth. It was as if Paul was saying, Timothy, don't be flippant or carefree about choosing leaders. They will be handling matters in the house of God and they will be handling them for the living God and preserving the pillar and the ground of His truth. Now on your own, please read through this list of qualifications from verses 1 through 13. Church, hold us pastors accountable. Pray for us regularly. We need it. Pastors and deacons, may we regularly and prayerfully self-examine ourselves concerning this list of qualifications, and may we walk in God's grace as we seek to do good work for Him. And last, let me encourage you with one more powerful qualification for those serving the Lord in leadership. Our ability rests solely upon the mystery of godliness, Jesus. When theology moves from the head and meets the heart, it surfaces through our hands, feet. But when it comes through our mouth, it's called doxology, our praise. Paul closes this thought in chapter 3 with a song about Jesus, our head pastor and savior. He was manifested in the flesh, vindicated by the spirit, seen by angels, proclaimed among the nations, believed on in the world, and taken up in glory. May our risen Savior be our chief qualifier and sustainer as we serve. His work, our response, church, you are greatly loved. So go and greatly love.